Wow, that is just some... That's some grade A parking right there. Holy fuck. Asian girls. Lots of Asian girls. This must be my birthday. Damn. What's going on? Holy shit. Come on, people. guys doing damn That's great. There's a fucking knife in the middle of the road. You see that shit? Right there. That would probably not be a good idea to run over. Probably one of the construction workers dropped it. I guarantee it'll end up puncturing someone's tire. Idiots. Why are you pulled out if you don't know that you can make it yet? Go, bitch. What the fuck are you doing? Go! God damn. Asshole. <laughs> what a fucking tool. Oh, there's girls right there. That's got to be embarrassing. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> They're probably all laughing at him. What the fuck is this? Yeah, baby. Fucking off-roading this shit today. Hot girl. On the phone. Plate number GSA 6185. Dumb, selfish bitch. She fucking looked right at me, saw the camera, and continued to fucking text anyway. Idiot. Like, I beeped and she looked forward. Why would there be somebody ahead of you beeping at you? They would have to be, like, nose to nose with you. Totally unaware of her surroundings. Just another fucking moron on a cell phone. So 
I think that girl on the cell phone back there stands to prove the point that I keep saying over and over and over and over about cell phone use and people getting in accidents. It just kind of occurred to me that when I beeped, she pulled forward. She didn't even know that somebody was behind her. She just assumed that someone beeped and it was time to go. So she like rolled forward like she was gonna go and then probably looked up and was like, oh, a red light, why am I being beeped at? Then she looked over at me and by that time she'd already pulled up so far that I was out of her like direct line of sight. So she's probably thinking that I was just beeping at like a friend or somebody. I was hoping she would look at me so I could signal her to put the goddamn phone down and then, you know, do the old camera point. But she was off in fucking texting land. So she literally had no idea I was even there. And that's usually what people say after they kill someone. Oh my God, I didn't even see them. You didn't see him because your face was in your fucking phone. Bitch! Busy, busy, busy. This is going to be a cluster fuck of people not knowing who's supposed to go. So the white car goes and then almost hits the green car and everybody's confused. Go. What the fuck is this guy doing? Idiot. Are you fucking serious right now? Illegal as shit. I'm seriously wondering though, what was up with the lights? Did that guy want me to pull over? Because he pulled off to the side with his lights on and then I went around him and then he turns his lights off. Well, what the fuck was he expecting me to do? Yeah, I'm gonna pull over for an un or a unmarked fucking vehicle. Right. Why, so some fucking security guards can shoot me? I don't fucking think so. He wants to get a legitimate cop? Yeah, I'll pull over. They asked me why, like, my first question would be, what did I do that was illegal? Because I beeped at you and told you to hang up your phone? Is that breaking the law? Sitting there with your fucking phone up to your face like this is illegal. And now I know that cops use their cell phones whoopty fucking do, but this guy was not in a cop car. He wasn't in a police uniform. This amazes me how fucking stupid people are. I'm almost wondering if he was going to pull me over, look back, saw the fucking camera, and thought maybe he would just let this one go, but still. What 
was he going to pull me over for? Even if he was an undercover cop, what did I do to break the law? Because I honked at you because you were going under the speed limit and making no attempt to get to 55 and you're on your fucking cell phone and it's eye high. Fucking stupid. Why the fuck would you even pull forward, you dumbass? Why would you pull forward? Now you're blocking up the entire fucking intersection. God damn. girl's face. You can see her in the mirror. She keeps looking to her right because she's talking to that guy. You don't need to look at someone's face to talk to them. And she's tailgating that car up there. So if you watch the ground, we're going to use uh, the stain in the road right there. Ready? One, two. I am two seconds behind her car. I'm a safe following distance. The car in front of her, not so much. She's tailgating it. This is what distractions cause. Now she's doing under the speed limit. We're like maintaining 48. Yo, gross. Thought she was hot for a second, maybe not. Like seriously, what the fuck, what position of the road are you in right now? Nice fucking signal. I'm sorry, if I can concentrate on driving, when I have to independently work my front and rear brakes, throttle, clutch, gas, and turning signals, and I'm in like 50 something pounds of leather boots and a helmet, but somebody sitting on their ass in an air conditioner, air conditioned car can't control their fucking vehicle. Give me a fucking break. It does not take a college education to drive a fucking car. All you have to do is pay attention. It's that fucking easy.